Alas, poor Hypes, no longer with us. Cut. Try it again. I need more emotion. <sighs> Alas, poor Hypes. Wait, why am I doing this again? Cut. Because Mr. Hypes retired and we replaced him. Oh, and we have a story on. Exactly. So I guess that's time for another edition of Your Nightly News. edition of the nightly news. We have stories on drama and new teachers. I'm Reese and I'm Alex. Let's have a look at the new teachers. At the start of the 2019-2020 school year comes along a bunch of new teachers and staff. Now that we're well into the school year, let's see how they're doing so far. And we're here with Fieldcrest's superintendent. How was your first year of being superintendent at Fieldcrest? It's going well. Are you excited for anything this year? I think we uh, have a lot to work to do on both the middle school and the high school as far as the building structure. So I'm looking forward to finding a resolution that works for students and staff in the community. What is your favorite thing about being superintendent? Uh, I think probably the fact that I not only get to see students every day and staff, but really get to be out in the community and get to know um, our neighbors and uh, other local area businesses and just getting to talk to people throughout my day. I'm here with the new health teacher, Mrs. Adams. Uh, how is your first year at Fieldcrest so far? It's been great. Actually, my first day, it was wonderful to walk in and a student held the door open for me. And <laughs> that's not the case from where I'm coming from. <laughs> so it was kind of nice to come in with new kids. So that kind of leads into my next question. How is Fieldcrest different from other schools that you've worked? Um, well, definitely smaller, which I like because I grew up in El Paso, so I like the small school feel, um, and definitely more receptive to a loving adult and a caring adult, whereas at my other school, that wasn't always the case. What made you decide to become a health teacher? <laughs> the health was in addition to the PE. Um, when I was in college, I was a business administration major, and my dad became sick with cancer. And so we talked a lot about working for the money or working for the enjoyment of the job. And at the time, I coached girls basketball, and I really liked the relationships. So I went the teaching route. Thank you so much. I'm here with Fieldcrest art teacher, Mr. Kowalczyk. How was your first year of teaching at Fieldcrest High School? Uh, it's going pretty well so far. What made you choose to be an art teacher? Um, I've always really enjoyed art, and I've loved it sharing and trying to teach people how to do art so it just seemed like a logical step. Are you excited for anything this school year? Uh, I'm really excited just to be here in general. Uh, it's been a long time since I've been in public education so and at the high school level so it's really interesting to see all the goings on. Homecoming just came and went so that was fairly interesting so I'm pretty excited about all the random events that happened throughout the year. How's your first year going here at Fieldcrest? It's going great. Uh, a lot of good things have happened, uh, building a lot of good relationships, having a good time. Um, it was especially cool during homecoming, uh, what was that, two weeks ago now? Uh, just to get to see the school in a new way. What made you choose Fieldcrest as your first job? I applied at Fieldcrest because I, I grew up in Lexington, uh, not far from here. So I knew about Fieldcrest and when I saw there was a history opening, I, I was really excited about that. What are you looking forward to most about being part of the Fieldcrest family? What am I looking forward to most? Um, the pride. I mean, everyone here uh, likes each other, loves each other, um, loves the school. Now that we've met our new teachers and staff, let's wish them a great first year. For the Nightly News, I'm Peyton. And I'm Logan. Welcome to all the new teachers and staff. We hope your year is going well. There's a lot of excitement about the football playoffs, but we can't forget about other activities too, like the fall play. Hello, it's Reese, and I'm here to let you know that the fall show is coming up. 
Late breaking news coming from Fieldcrest High School. This is Ashley Swanson with the nightly news. So, Ms. Swanson, tell us a little bit about the shows this year. Sure. So this year we actually have three fall shows, which is a bit different. Normally we just have one. This year the three shows are about 30 minutes each, so they're all one acts, and it's about the lives of high school students and the various troubles and trials and tribulations that they go through. Uh, two of the plays deal specifically with the theme of suicide and social isolationism. This is Reese, and I'm here with Drama Club senior Emily. So Emily, what character do you play in the fall show this year? I am playing the character Monique in the show Freak. And how is that character different than other roles you've played in the past? Well, my other roles have been a little more, I guess, fun. Like last year, Babette in Beauty and the Beast was pretty like flirty and all over the place. But here in the show, it's pretty serious and it's more of a serious subject matter. And what are you most excited about for this year's fall show? Um, well, with it being my senior year and everything, just being in the show has been like a good experience to be able to maybe be like a lead, I guess. And this is a show they want to take to the theater festival, so. Thank you. Ashton, never again will you ever interrupt one of my... Ashton, what show are you in? And tell us a little about your character. Uh, I'm in uh, I'm the show Freak, and I play as Maniacal Max. Now, Maniacal Max is a very sporadic, kind of spritey character who drives the plot. It, it's an interesting character to have. Karen, how about you? Hi, I'm in the show Selfie, and my character is named Zach. He's stuck in between two divorced parents, and he tries to figure out all the high school drama while figuring out who to trust. From so Tanner, what would you say is the hardest part of the show for you? Well, me being new to the, the drama department and stuff, I would definitely say the hardest part is probably like acting natural within your character, just putting emotion into it and trying to memorize your lines at the same time. Ashton, what's the hardest part for your character? I would say the hardest part is memorizing lines. See, that's something new, joining drama for the first time, you know, being in a play or first production. I don't, I don't find that projecting my own emotion to the character is quite the problem because I, I think the character that I have is quite fitting, a very sporadic, jumpy type of character. But I do think remembering the lines and you know, remembering to not bounce around and you know, keep your feet still from scene to scene, that's probably the, the hardest part. Yeah. So Ashton, I hear that you like to interrupt other people's interviews. No, that's absurd. I've never done such a thing. Ashton would never do that. Just hand her back. No, yeah. I don't. She, I... A lot of hard work goes into these shows. So make sure you go out and support the Drama Club on November 8th, 9th, and 10th. For the Nightly News, this is Reese. So check out the play, Friday and Saturday at 7 and Sunday afternoon at 2. Another home playoff game and a play? That's a busy weekend. Well, that's our show. We have stories on BACC and Dance in the Works. We leave you with a look back on Homecoming. We'll see you soon with another edition of Your Nightly News. Three, two, one, backpack. All right, guys, pretty good. Have you guys ever been Lover's Leap partners before? No, we have not. Nope, never been partners. So how do you feel about winning the Lover's Leap in 2019 homecoming? Oh, that was pretty awesome. It was a great feeling. So do you guys have anything to say to all those people out there? I love you, Mom. I'd like to thank uh, Coach Freeman. He always yelled at us to get out from under the shade tree. Well, thank you, guys. TP. Very nice. Well, the Lover's Leap champions were muy interesante. Incorrecto! Let's go talk to the real champions of Homecoming Week, Homecoming King and Queen. So, Alex, how was the dance? Um, it was a lot of fun. It was a little scary, though, because Ken and I had to lead the Grand March, and we did not know what we were doing. Was the Grand March fun? Yes. Were you sad or relieved to not have to do it with Jackson? Very relieved. <laughs> I would be, too. So, Ken, what was your favorite song to dance to? Uh, Sweet Caroline. Why? Uh, it's our football song. It's what we sing when we win, and uh, it just brought everybody together dancing, so that was cool. So, Alex, are you sad that this was your last homecoming? Yes. Kenton? No. I'm just kidding. Yes, I was, yeah. <laughs>